PMI, Project Manufacturing Information. PMI is a mode that can place notes, symbols, dimensions, and tolerance features in a model, section view, or assembly's 3D environment that then can be imported into a 2D drawing or used as a more appealing graphic or image for presentations. Depending on the person, this mode can be beneficial by decreasing a design's interpretation time compared to multiple views on a drawing, give the reader the ability to rotate the part as desired, and have a clearer exchange of information, being able to zoom and highlight the dimensions to see where they're attached to. We will be performing a PMI function on this cutter block for a milling fixture that will create all the required dimensions in a 3D environment to then convert with ease to a draft. Go to the Applications tab, select PMI to expose this toolbar, then enter into it. To start, assure that the Part Navigator's window is expanded and expand the model's view. It is necessary to understand the PMI features are specifically controlled and placed within the available or customized views within the Part Navigator. Select the top view. In the PMI hotbar, you're able to see the different dimensions, annotation, custom symbols, supplemental geometry, and even section views that you are able to create in this mode. We will start with a rapid dimension. All of the different measurement methods that are portrayed within the toolbar are also portrayed within this measurement method with a more user-friendly rapid placement method way. We will start with inferred. And also, as you can see, the rapid dimension gives you a different amount of settings to change the alignment of your dimensions for the PMI mode, the anchor, and also the plane orientation where you can specify either a certain plane on the coordinate system, the model view, or a user-defined plane that can be in any direction or view you choose. For this part, the model view will work perfectly. We will select the first object and begin. Those are all the dimensions required for the top view. As you can see, if you go back into any of the other views, these views all disappear from the section, proving that the PMI's dimensions are specified directly into the model's view. But once you go back to the top view, they are all still there. For the next view, we'll be going to a front view following a basic orthographic draft and continuing to dimension. These are all the dimensions for the front view. The next we will go to the bottom right side.
By double clicking any of the dimensions, you are also able to open up a more user friendly settings dialog box of the available tolerances and certain specifications you can put by also entering into the For any further GDMT specifications, you are able to go into the annotation frame and choose any type of these symbols that are required for the feature, if anything was parallel or to a certain straightness tolerance. But for this model, uh, that won't be necessary. Now that the three required views for an orthographic draft is completed, we are able to go back into the application tab and back into drafting mode. And we will have an example of importing these into a drawing import any relevant information required for the title block exit the view creation wizard and we will be using base view now we will import the views By highlighting each of the view's grid lines, right-clicking, and proceeding to settings, you are giving an option array of the settings you are able to manipulate. For this particular setting, we want to go into an inherited PMI mode. And since we already highlighted our view, we will be using the from model view. You are giving a prompt to specify any specific kinds of notations or PMI types you would like to display in this view. And we will leave them all on for this matter. And they all upload just as if we created a separate drawing and did all this work another time outside of a 3D environment. For the next view, we will be doing the same procedure, but for this PMI, we will be using the entire part. And for the last one, we will be using the from model view. And that's how you create a PMI. For the final revisions, we will select all of the dimensions, settings, and create a gap from the extension lines of 0.75. Also, we will insert all of the hidden lines as a dotted line. And that concludes our tutorial.